Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Weight Loss Center. <clears throat> One stop shopping for all your health and fitness needs. It be you want to lose weight, you want to run faster, you want to jump higher. All your needs are right here, and it's all the same protocol. Anyway, here's the deal this is way off, way off health and fitness, not even close. And the beauty of it is, is that it just made a, such a powerful statement without condoning or, or, or reprimanding anybody. It was wonderful with all the machinations and, 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 and the pontification and all this sort of stuff and yelling and screaming, you're a racist, this, that, and the other thing. This guy just said it all. Out of the mouth of babes comes the voice of reason. I mean, it was just beautiful. You saw the thumbnail. Jonathan Isaac is my hero. Absolutely 100% my hero. Now here's the deal. If you've been following the NBA, you know, okay, Black Lives Matter. They're all wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirt. You know, the, the country is systemically racist, so we're gonna, all gonna kneel during the Star Spangled Banner, and there is gonna be Black Lives Matter logos on the floor. Now, whether we agree with that or not is not the point here. It's not the point here. But it is a very, very aggressive campaign by the NBA to make a political social justice statement. Okay? Now, I'm not going to get into the whys and where to fours of Black Lives Matter. That is another video, and certainly not one appropriate for health and fitness. But for anybody that's following me on any of my several channels that I have, you know that I'm a deeply religious guy, okay? I have been since I was a kid, very devout Catholic. And even that's not the point. But while everybody was tripping over themselves to be so sanctimonious with their Black Lives Matter t-shirt, you know, kneeling on one, one knee, with their elbows intertwined with the person on each side of them, and this grave look on their face while the Star Spangled Banner is being played, this one 22-year-old young man, all seven feet tall of him, didn't do it. He did not wear the T-shirt, and he stood up during the Star Spangled Banner. Now, he was playing for the Orlando Magic, and they were the home team, so he was wearing a white Jersey, his white regular Orlando Magic jersey, and the stark contrast. I don't even know. I, I don't even think he was trying to do that, but he was just wearing his uniform and standing up, and the stark contrast was just overwhelmingly powerful. He didn't say anything, didn't shake a fist, didn't walk off, didn't do nothing. Just stood up. He was asked yesterday. He was asked after the game what he thought. And I will leave a uh, link down below of his uh, press conference. Guys, all he said was, we are all God's children. Now, he is going against the entire NBA. This is his future employment. He's 22 years old. He's making $4 million a year. I think he's going to be a free agent next year. So he's putting a lot on the line here, a lot on the line to say this. And he what, didn't say one word about anybody's wrong, anybody's right. Do you believe in Black Lives Matter? They asked him, sure. Of course Black Lives Matter and Blue Lives Matter. We're all God's children. And if that, in, in, in four words, or if you count the contraction, five words, we are all God's children, nothing else need be said. Nothing else need be said. Well, I'm Democrat, you're Republican, okay doesn't mean we have to hate each other. doesn't mean you're a racist because you don't agree with me. We are all God's children. And Jonathan Isaac, for the stones to stand up and for, for your convictions. And he went on to say, and I, I'm always hesitant to put words in his mouth because I'm paraphrasing here. But he said, when I was brought up, I was not allowed to be divisive. You don't have to agree with everybody but we're all God's children. 
everybody, everybody has merit in this world of ours. And I absolutely loved it. And, you know, with his career being what it is, being so young, it's his third year in the league. So he was 19 when it came out. He was a one and done uh, out of college from Florida, I believe. Florida Seminoles, I believe. Orlando Magic, first round draft pick. And he's having uh, quite a good year this year. 12.7 rebounds, averaging some minutes. He's doing very well for a young kid, 22 years old. But again, his contract is up. Is he going to be labeled a, a, a bad guy or something? Who knows? I hope not. Because he didn't, he didn't condone anything. He didn't, you know, shake his finger and, and tell people, no. Very simple. We're all God's children. Jonathan Isaac, God bless you. God bless you. Honest to God, this senior citizen here who loves watching basketball is for eternally, eternally a big fan. The conviction to stand up for your, for your, for your principles was extraordinary. Extraordinary. And not trying to make it good guy, bad guy, Republican, Democrat, was wonderful. And I thought it spoke volumes. Anyway, that's it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Jonathan Isaac, God bless you.